Hi everyone, this is Indra. Welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, one very important topic on the complex number uh, nth root of unity. Here, we will discuss uh, about the calculation of the nth roots of the unity. Please watch this video till the end so that you will get the concept of how to calculate uh, nth root of the unity as well as some basic uh, calculations on the complex numbers and if you don't subscribe my channel yet please make sure to subscribe it and press the bell icon for instant notification of all the uploaded videos from this channel without wasting any further time let's go ahead here uh, i have written the today's topic name nth root of unity let's discuss about it uh, the nth root of unity. Let's take a complex number and z uh, is the nth root of the unity and the nth root of the unity is denoted by by this. Uh, this means here we have written z here equals to uh, the nth root of unity. Unity means 1. This is the nth root of the unity. Notation for the nth root of the unity. Let's calculate the possible values of nth root of the unities. And this can be further written as 1 uh, to the power of 1 over n. Here we just use the simple uh, property of the indices. We can write uh, this expression in this form. 1 to the power of 1 over n. Just by using the uh, law of the indices. And let's change this one uh, in the polar representation we can uh, change the rectangular representation of the complex number into the polar representations let's change this one uh, into the polar form and the polar form of the one uh, is uh, just cos 0 degree plus iota sine 0 degree this is the just the polar representation of one and here it is raised to the power of 1 over n. Here in this second step we just uh, uh, change the rectangular uh, representation into the polar form. This is the uh, ordinary uh, simple polar representations. Let's convert this simple polar uh, form into the generalization form. And this can be further written as cos 2 pi k plus here the angle is argument is 0 degree 0 degree plus iota sine 2 pi k plus the argument 0 degree and it is here all raised to the power of 1 over n here in this third step we uh, we just change uh, this polar form into the general polar form this is called as uh, general polar form and this is general polar form for generalization of the polar form we have to uh, write we have to add the argument with 2 pi k k is the here the uh, number which ranges from the 0 to n minus 1 where the value of the k ranges from 0 1 2 to n minus 1 here in this uh, step we have just uh, uh, written we have just written uh, the ordinary polar form into the general polar form and uh, let's do the further simplifications here we can use uh, the de Morvis theorem in this step and this can be further written as cosine of this is 2 pi k plus 0 degree just 2 pi k and it is divided by the it is divided by this number n over n plus iota sine 2 pi k 2 pi k 2 pi k plus 0 degree 2 pi k over n here we just use the de Morvis theorem on the complex number uh, and then let's take, let's choose the values of the k from uh, 0 to n minus 1, uh, 1 at a time. 
this is the bell of the jet let's take in the first step let's take the bell of the k k is a first number zero first integer zero and this can be let's write this in the Euler representation Euler representation form this can be this um, uh, uh, this trigonometric form can be written into the exponential form as the by Euler uh, notation e to the power of i and the angle angle is here the argument is this one 2 pi k over n here we have just written into uh, into the exponential form by the Euler notation this is the call as the Euler notation here we just change the trigonometric uh, representation into the exponential exponential representation it is Euler notation and let's take the value of the k uh, as the first integer 0 let's put the value of the k as the 0 in this equations in this expression then the value of the for first integer this the uh, then the first uh, root first root will be e to the power of here we have just uh, substitute the value of the k as a 0 e to the power of this will be the 0 i times 0 this is just e to the power of 0 and this is just 1 first root here the first root uh, is often here is the 1 this is the first root of the unity is the 1 let's uh, plug in the value of the k is the 1 and the second root second root will be e to the power of here we, uh, we have to just substitute the value of the k by 1 and this will be e to the power of i 2 pi over n here we just substitute the value of the k is a 1 and the, uh, let's substitute the value of the k is the 2 and the, this will be the third root then the third root will be e to the power of if we plug in the value of the k is the 2 then this will be 4 pi over n uh, similarly we can substitute we can plug in the other values of the k uh, in these expressions and so on uh, if we plug in the value of the k is the last number is here the n minus 1 k ranges from the 0 to n minus 1 if we plug in the value of the k is the n minus 1 n minus 1 then the n minus uh, nth root this will be nth root nth root will be e to the power of what will be the way just uh, bell, uh, just uh, substitute the value of the k is the n minus 1 i 2 pi n minus 1 over n just plug in the value of the k is the n minus 1 uh, and let's uh, represent let's denote this uh, e to the power of i times uh, 2 pi over n is the alpha this is the second root let's uh, denote the second root of the unity is the alpha and this is just e to the power of 4 pi over n it is just the square of alpha this is just alpha square if we represent this expression by alpha then this will be alpha square and this will be just alpha to the power of n minus 1 so uh, finally we can conclude that the roots uh, nth roots of the unity nth roots of unity are the first root is 1 the second root is here denoted by the alpha third will be the alpha square and so on up to alpha to the power of n minus 1 these are the uh, roots of the nth roots of the unity where the Greek alphabet alpha represents um, the expressions e to the power of i iota 2 pi over n here we have calculated 
uh, we have calculated the all the roots and roots of the unity these are the nth roots of the unity please memorize these are the nth roots of the unity uh, let's add the all the nth roots of the unity and uh, let's talk about the one property let's add all the all the nth roots of the unity one root is one plus next root is alpha plus next one is alpha square and so on so on to alpha to the power of n minus one here we just add all the uh, nth roots of the unity and here we can easily see that this this uh, series uh, this series in the geometrical series uh, which is which is in geometrical progression here we can easily observe that here the common ratio is alpha so we can say this uh, series is in geometrical progression with a common ratio with common ratio common ratio which is generally uh, denoted by uh, the common ratio is denoted by the r here it is just alpha in this uh, series the common ratio is r is equals to alpha let's uh, evaluate the sum of the uh, all the terms in the gp sum sum will be sum uh, up to the uh, n minus 1 terms from 0 to n minus 1 terms sum will be we have the formula for calculating the sum of the uh, sum of the all the numbers all the uh, terms in the gp we have the formula a times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1 this is the formula uh, for calculating the sum of the all the terms in the gp where r is the common ratio and the a is the first term let's plug in the value in this formula here the first term is 1 so the value of the a is 1 times r is common ratio common ratio is here alpha alpha to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 r is here alpha minus 1 and here we have uh, denoted this alpha by this expression e to the power of uh, iota 2 pi over n let's plug in in this expression uh, and then will be uh, e, e to the power of i 2 pi over n it is all over n minus 1 divided by all divided by alpha minus 1 alpha is e to the power of i 2 pi over n minus 1 here we just in this step we just plug in the value of the alpha is this quantity and here the n will be cancel it out then the it will be e to the power of 2 pi i 2 pi i minus 1 over e to the power of 2 pi i over n minus one and the value of the uh, the value of e to the power of e to the power of uh, 2 pi i is just one e to the power of 2 pi i uh, can be calculated by changing it into the uh, trigonometric form trigonometric form like this we can change the exponential exponential form into the tri corresponding trigonometric form if we uh, change if we change this uh, exponential form e to the power of 2 pi i into the trigonometric form then the result will be 1 then 1 minus 1 will be 0 if the uh, if the numerator is 0 then the result will be 0 so here we have finally obtained uh, the sum of all the roots all the nth roots of the unity as a 0 the sum is 0 please remember this very important point here we have uh, obtained one very beautiful relations the sum of all the uh, nth roots of the unity is zero sum is zero sum of all nth roots of unity is equals to zero please remember this very important point 
in our next video we will discuss more about uh, the properties of the nth root of the unity please keep watching keep loving this channel and don't uh, forget to subscribe this channel uh, and this much for today thank you